What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Seattle Mariners versus Cincinnati Reds Major League Baseball matchup going down Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam Season Pass. What this is going to get you access is to the waiting rating of my plays, and it's going to get you access to my nerfies and yerfies and my first five plays, as well as plays that I make throughout the day based on line moves, money moves, pitching changes, lineup scratches. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, text 775-636-7674. We'll get you more information, but the prerequisite is you have to be willing to bet $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season with that kind of bankroll. So if that doesn't apply... Unfortunately, you know, we can't get you to text that number, but you can definitely check out the options at Pick Dogs Premium. We've got tons of them. But uh, yeah, if you're betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball, text that number. We'll get you some, uh, some info on the, on the end season pass. But let's get to this one between the Seattle Mariners and the Cincinnati Reds. For the Seattle Mariners, you got Bryce Miller listed as the starter in this one. And for the Seattle, um, excuse me, for the Cincinnati Reds, you got uh, Andrew Abbott tabbed as the starter. And with Seattle sending out Bryce Miller here, you know, Miller's been solid. I mean, he did have the rough outing in his debut against the Boston Red Sox. Five innings, four runs allowed on six hits. Gave him a pair of home runs, but since then he's been rock solid, allowing just one unearned run over the two starts, spanning 13 and a third innings of work. Six hits allowed combined over the two starts, 11 strikeouts, four walks. And, um, you know, I, I think that you know, Bryce Miller is going to start to prove to be a valuable member of this, uh, this Mariners rotation. You know, he was... A decent part for him last season. Did have, didn't have the greatest numbers, but he was good. A 4.32 ERA across 131 of third innings. Not bad for your debut campaign. Um, but Miller, you know, faced Cincinnati Reds last year in Cincinnati. Not a tough place to pitch well on the road. And he went five innings, gave up just one run on seven hits. Didn't really have a ton of strikeouts. So that was the concern for, uh, for Miller in that outing. But when you look at just the home and road splits for, for Miller, you know, pitching in a hitter-friendly park, like T-Mobile, you know, it's not hard to see why, you know, he, he did have as much success as he did. He had a much better ERA at home than on the road last year. You know, it was a, a, a run and a half lower at home, 3.65 compared to his 5.18 ERA on the road. And like I said, he's gotten off to a strong start this year. I think he'll maybe be able to keep it going here against the Cincinnati Reds lineup. You know, the Cincinnati Reds, solid without question, but they are a different team when you take them out of Great American. And so is Andrew Abbott. Abbott, a rare pitcher, Kind of like pitchers that pitch well for the Rockies at Coors, where he actually pitches better at hitter-friendly Great American. Last year, had a 191 opponent batting average at home um, compared to a, a batting average for his opponents over 300 on the road. Now, last time he did stifle the Chicago White Sox, but only had three strikeouts in that start. And um, let's face it, the Chicago White Sox, not the most imposing of offensive lineups so far this season. Granted, the Seattle Mariners have had inconsistencies as well, but that's just because or at least I'm drumming it up to the fact that they strike out a ton against right-handed pitching and have faced a ton of righties already this season. So I think they can have a little bit more success here against Andrew Abbott. I think the Mariners can get it done in the end. So I'm going to roll with the Mariners at home in this one. Lean towards the under for me as well, but I'm going to roll with the other uh, Mariners on the money line in this one. And that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.